Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about masking your alphas inside Substance Painter using a tool called Mask Alphas. The most commonly asked question I get is how do I mask my alphas? And with this tool you can create your own custom masks and attach it to your alpha. Or you can use some of the pre-created masks I've created for my own alphas. For example, for these alphas, if you wanted to put the different material on different details, it would take quite some time, especially if you want to use it more than once. But for this tool, you only have to create the mask once, and then you can use it forever. If you have downloaded and added the tool to your shelf, you should find it here. I'll now add a mask and alpha to the tool. For this I'm gonna use my newly created Japanese ornament alphas. I baked out these masks directly from the original mesh data, so it should fit perfectly. In these menus you can switch out color, roughness and metalness for each of the four color IDs. So as you can see this is a really good and fast way to get some basic materials going. But I think most of us are mostly interested in masking out our own smart materials and other layers. And that's what I'm going to show in a bit, so don't worry. Also, if you buy my Japanese ornament alphas, all the mask files are included. So you can use those with this tool. I'm now going to show you how to create an ID map with the tool, which enables you to use it with smart materials or any other layer. To do this, we only want the color information, so we turn off metalness and roughness and any other information. Now that we only have the color information, I'm picking some bright colors to use as the ID map. I'm using the color picker to choose colors from a chart that I have on another screen, as I want to use the same colors between different alphas, and that makes it a lot more easier. Here I'm about to do a very common mistake. Instead of dragging the alpha to the alpha slot, I accidentally click it once. And because I do that, it gets added to the brush alpha slot. So I will need to delete that. Here's another problem that you might encounter. One of the color IDs isn't detected. And to fix that, you can either change the original mask file or you can go to the mask selection menu and you can widen the search gap for that color ID. Now it works again. I'm 
now export the textures. I'm only going to use the color map and the normal map. The color map is the ID map and the normal map to bake curvature and ambient occlusion. Here you can see the result and I think it should work well as an ID map. I'll now import the normal map and ID map back into Substance Pane. Baking the curvature and ambient occlusion map first. Turning off the ID map textures, so we have no use for those, and um, adding the ID map to the ID map slot. I'm creating a masked folder for each colority, so I can easily switch and try out different smart materials. The metal smart materials I'm using right now is also available for download and you can find them in the link in the description. That's about it. Thank you for watching and I hope you find the tool useful.